nothing is, is going on between me and Nicole these days. <laughs> no, we don't really talk anymore. Right. So, I don't know if I entirely trust Nicole Santi anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she said the same about you. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a successful <laughs> there. today. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a mixture doing. It kind of just ended with some very weird reasons that I'm not going to tell on camera. Because I don't like to put people's business out there. Chris Thomas and I were talking at my birthday party and I was like, it's like tell me like where your head's at because like like it really doesn't matter to me. He was like, Oh well like why would I have like came all the way here? Why would I have dressed up? Why would I have took you out to Chipotle? Why would I help you clean up? Like all this stuff. Then it was my birthday and Sunday we had that tribal and then it like turned into my birthday. And everyone said happy birthday to me except for him. And then I was like, okay, well, if he doesn't say happy birthday to me, then like I'll just be done, whatever, like not a big deal. And so then I talked to Chris, and he said that he liked me, but we had differences in relationship expectations, so it wasn't going to work. She tried talking me at the challenge, and I kind of blew it off. I feel, kind of dead. I feel like she wants a relationship, things, but like. And I feel like I probably could have had one with her because I kind of liked her. It's like, it's frustrating, not so much like him specifically, because like, whatever, I don't really care. But that, it's like multiple people have told me like the same thing that he said. So like, it's just, it's just frustrating. It gets to you. And well, we kind of patch things up a little bit, so. I like meeting new people. Like, if we actually stay friends, yeah, then I would be happy because, like, obviously we get along. I got lots of options. Just kidding. Hey, Phil.